Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Share Your Grin. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we finally, oh, we finally finished uh, the series Lucifer, man. I've been talking about this series for a long time. I love it to bits. It's one of the most charming uh, and just awesome formula, formulaic series where it's like the, the, the background idea of it can just be replayed many, many times over. <laughs> but it is six seasons. <laughs> it was a good bit. Um, especially when my only criticism for the entire series, which I felt um, a little bit at the last uh, part of this series, uh, which was the fact that Lucifer, again, has to relearn things that it seems like he learned in the previous series or seasons. Um, but also, before we get into this, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the last season of the show. Unfortunately, it is fully done, so I can't tell you uh, when the new uh, season is. But I can say I'm sorry. Uh, I am, um, wow. Every article I read, everything I found out about the new season for Lucifer was entirely wrong. <laughs> I apologize so much, man. I I looked at every I looked back. Everyone said, and every article that I read, and every interview that they gave, which they interviewed the cast. So it leads me to believe that maybe somewhere along the line, within COVID quarantine, all of this stuff, they reformatted the series or shifted things around, because in no way was it what people said it was, which people said that it was going to be like six episodes of just basically wrapping up everybody's kind of thing. Um, so like, it was just going to be like, here's Chloe, Lucifer and the whole shebang doing their thing. Bah, 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 bah. And, and yeah, now with that being said, I'm not unhappy with how things panned out. And this is my other thing. If people are just tuning in this because they weren't sure about it, they want to see what I want to know how, how I felt about it. I loved it to bits, but I want to tell you guys, I did not like it for a lot of the time. Uh, it is one of the seasons or one of the things where a lot of it, the first three episodes are awful. <laughs> They're very not good. Uh, they very much apply, apply the thing I hate the most, which is Lucifer just forgetting all of the lessons he learned up at that point. Um, just for like the fact that so he can relearn them again. It felt like that in a big way. Um, but the first three episodes suck. Uh, they're very not good. I, I hated them a great deal. And also, the third episode, and this is the other thing, a lot of people may have stopped watching, because they do this final season really weird, um, where it, they make it seem like, like the only way it could end is a negative end. Uh, so in the background of your mind, and especially with how long these episodes are, it's hard to binge this show. Uh, especially with 10 episodes, you have to go fucking the whole day as soon as you wake up to as soon as you go to sleep, basically. Not quite, but it's a lot. Anyways, um, so more, more or less, you're going to probably take a break in between or something, right? Unless some of you guys are crazy out there. I know some of you are. But um, in that time, your imagination is just going to be playing tricks on you. And you're going to be like, oh, I bet this is how it's going to happen. Because I, dude, I, I, <laughs> I watched one of the episodes where it's, it introduces to you an idea potentially of abandonment. Um, and essentially, I went to sleep, and I was just sitting there in my mind churning. I was like, oh, those fucking assholes are going to do this? Why, why does it have to be a sad ending? They said it would be happy. I lied to so many people about <laughs> what's happening. Um, and, and, and yeah, I just keep perpetuating that, that shitty thing in my head. But all I'll say is you're wrong. That's all I'll say. You're wrong. Um, I... Did not like a lot of the series, but it's it gets perpetually better because you start getting, like, again, around episode five or six, Lucifer finally starts, like, knowing that, like, his previous lessons, like, oh, hey, that's how I, that's why I did that. That's why I shouldn't do that. That's why I should tell people I love them when I love them. And all of these things. So it does work up to that. So if you have any reservations for watching this final season, or at least finishing it, because it is worth finishing it, or at least the last two episodes are some of the most charming, wholesome, lovely uh, episodes that I've ever watched in the entire series. So watch at least those two if you can't stomach the rest. Although, I really... And this to me is the thing, man. I would have loved this if it had more time to breathe and it was what we got instead of some of the other seasons where a lot of the other seasons in my opinion felt like they'd like ran out of things to cover and they didn't know they didn't want they didn't want to like change the formula too much so they kind of just again made, like wiped lucifer's brain of eight fucking like 80 percent of what he learned in the previous seasons so that they could on netflix have him learn it again which was frustrating i love the series <laughs> i'm just saying these are some of my only flaws with it 
but uh, but in a lot of it feels like you're like oh okay we're here again here we go Good, <laughs> you know but then this thing which by the way full spoiler warning if you haven't seen it i would highly advise finishing it especially if you haven't finished it because all the gloves are off right now i love to do bits and i can't, couldn't wait to talk to you guys about it also by the way if you're liking this video uh or, uh, to tell me how you felt about the show also appreciate any support on the video as well but um, i really wanted to talk to you guys about it and share this with you guys because i loved the way it ended but i do have some things where i'm like hmm, i'm not sure if you guys have them too i could just be alone in this but what i was saying beforehand was i like the idea of like lucifer having a daughter uh, as, as much as the time travel thing is a bit of an annoying kind of like of course this happens now <laughs> of all things what anyways um but, but yeah basically i love that idea lucifer being a dad and his kid being like his shitty old self like a rebellious asshole who's like or not an asshole but like a rebellious person who's like how could you I, I, it's, this is all everyone's fault but my own but also being a good kind-hearted person you know at the same time it's like this weird like imperfect person that is making slow slowly slowly changing or improving over time um although again like i said for the last season it's weird because like I feel like before it came to Netflix the Lucifer that we had before then was more of a developed well-rounded character than the one we got because again it does seem like he got like his memory wiped and he's just like what the fuck happened well all the lessons that I learned and all the horrible tragedy that I went to prior to this forgot it immediately also uh, dude, I feel like I got Mandela affected. I did not remember, or I just blocked it out, that Lucifer had guyliner. I, dude, I, I had to go back and be like, really? <laughs> did I just not fucking pick that up at all? I feel like when I was, I would have totally noticed that. I feel like I'm insane right now. Like, but apparently, he did. He had guyliner the whole time. I'm not sure if I was just, he just super suave. I wasn't even noticing shit. But Jesus, <laughs> I was sitting there like, Am I crazy? <laughs> I feel like I never, that was not a thing. I, I, it could just be me. Do you guys remember it? I don't know. Maybe we got one of those, one of those weird things happening. I don't know. But putting all of that aside, because again, a lot of the, the run, run up to this, to the, uh, to the thing was, I was super not into it, but I did like the idea of his like daughter having badass wings. Like I wish that was its own arc, which had its like time to breathe and like super develop and all of these things. It did seem like she kind of, they kind of shoot her, shoot horn her in to like, make the ending that they wanted for Lucifer happen without jeopardizing like Maze and uh, and Eve's kind of like happy romantic happily ever after but at the same time I also it is a brilliant thing like especially if you've seen the ending which the ending is not perfect but it's very very good and it makes you feel all warm and fuzzy but uh it is like a really well used narrative ability to where like you don't want to see like May is kissing an old ass Eve on her deathbed like oh and then like a child come up beside her and be like mom or whatever nonsense uh, why well, would but it's fine <laughs> um but there is there would be this cool thing of this character that's from the future implying everyone more or less gets taken care of uh, everyone lives someone happily ever after and they're a part of this person's life and they're here and they're there uh, and everyone seems seemingly is good i will say and this is where i wanted to kind of talk to you guys about it this is my only like weird thing is there were certain instances where i was just like like there was a big poetic kind of thing where lucifer became god like you know what i mean like it was like the person who who, uh, but I feel like they did it in a weird way to where, like, the ending makes sense, to where, like, the guy who tried to overthrow God because he thought he could do it better, um, like, in a weird way, became, like, said, I want to become God as well, without, like, having the thing where I thought, like, it would be cool if Lucifer said, I don't want to be God, I don't want to be God anymore, like, I, I made a mistake when I was younger, thinking I could do all this, this seems like a lot more work than I, like, than anyone could possibly imagine, and that would have made sense if if fucking his dad was like, oh, you want to run a run a kingdom? Here's hell. And him being like, this is hard as shit. <laughs> no. But instead, none of that really happened. And instead, he was like, no, I want it. <laughs> I want it, please. So and that, that to me was done in a weird way. But he became God, except he didn't. Uh, and Menadil became God, which to me was like, well, yeah, that always seemed like it was kind of the subliminal thing. But at the same time, like it never really made it was a very a lot of it seemed like it was like easy writing in that way where they're like uh lucifer doesn't want to be god anymore so a mana deal <laughs> and it's like or uh what is it a mana god or whatever um yeah to me so like that felt weird to where like 
what was the fuck was the point of the previous season about Lucifer being like, I'm going to fight to do this. I'm going to put everything on the line uh, and show that I have like the, the most Im like unmeasurable amount of love for humanity, which would make sense out of all the people. He has the most love. With that being said, it also makes sense towards the ending that they had, which is, yeah, the most, the person who has the most love for humanity isn't necessarily, um, the person who, who is going to run everything, but the person who can accept the flawed among, among all of us, um, and help them improve to not give up on them because that, that'd be the, where the most worthy or the most, uh, devoted or loved would, which should be is where people are the most unloved and the most, uh, hated. Uh, so to me, I think that was somewhat poetic, uh, but at the same time, it did feel weird. Like I didn't feel like the writing on the season one and season two were different, but I do admit that season 10 or sorry, season six, uh, ended in a way that was awesome. Like it, but also, okay, let me, I'm not done with it. I'm not, no, that's not, that's not, that's not no, no, no complimenting <laughs> just yet, man. Uh, uh, what is with the like, wait, but wait, no, <laughs> they can't have a happy end ever after where Lucifer doesn't abandon his child and it's just a nice, lovely soup. Uh, and then the ending didn't really make, like, if you think about it, it didn't make the most sense. Where, like, uh, where she's like, no, you helped me now and that's when I needed you. And it's like, he couldn't have helped you throughout your entire childhood in engraving in you these lessons instead no <laughs> there's one moment in time where you have to go back and forth and some crazy weird shit what <laughs> well, i get there's a time loop but that just makes it annoying don't go fucking back in time then or some shit i don't know because i get it like it it would nothing would make sense like if she would disappear theoretically she would have never came back to see them in the first place therefore the whole thing would just become undone so i know that this fucking stupid time loop that has to be achieved in order for anything to make sense in order for her to be there in the moment and to have caused change uh but still what <laughs> this is the problem with time loop shit it's like it's just the worst <laughs> anyway but man like one of the things that bothers me about the show and i like that this was one of the things i thought was really good about season uh five was uh, Lucifer, and this kind of sounds weird, but Lucifer finally getting his to some extent, uh, which I know is weird because, you know, he gets everything. But the point is, is that like for specifically Chloe Decker, his, his like partner, he, he dies for her on repeat <laughs> many times. He goes through ab ab absurd pain. Uh, regardless of whatever happens, he just chews on through and, and yes, he's flawed in, in many ways, but it's just like, he seems like he goes out of his way to support that person, to make sure they're okay. Uh, all the while basically never getting credit really for it, you know, getting shot, going behind this thing and doing that for her and all of these things. Uh, like he gives a lot. What, what she gives him it's nothing. And if she gives him, it's like idealism, like the idea of this wonderful human being that helps guide me in my times of not knowing what to do or wants that pushes me to become better, which is maybe all you can ask for. But to me, I thought it was awesome that she's like, you know what? Yes, I have, you have helped me so much throughout this entire part of our last couple of years together. It's my, it's your turn to, to, uh, for me to support you. Uh, and then in the season two, it kind of gets to this weird thing where she's like, well, you know, mm, no, <laughs> uh, mm, no. Um, but, but also I understand the sentiment because it did feel like the, the writing or whatever did feel like it would be weird for, for them, for her to be like, yeah, fuck it. I'll abandon something that throughout the entire course of the series has shown that she is an expert at so that she is like the most qualified, the most wonderful. So as much as it may be a fair pendulum swing of effort or give it doesn't feel like it would be a fair give it'd feel like it would take a great deal from her to this whole thing so in that sense i understand the ending and that in that sense i think the ending is quite beautiful uh where basically it's like no no, no. like uh what do you call it? let me have my 80 years with my lovely child and and being able to like just share the world with her uh seeing her grow up again Take care, care, take care of her, uh, create a better uh, kind of small pocket of my world. Um, and then when I'm dead and when I finally pass on, then it's time to give back millions of years potentially to the person that I love the most. And to be like, okay, that's kind of a sweet endeavor. But it's so it's kind of like we both get ours, but at the same time, Lucifer never really gets to be a dad ever, you know? So it's that, that's kind of the sad thing, because to me, I'm like, oh, but it did seem like, especially towards the end there, he would be a fucking great dad, but he just 
decides not to, decides to be like a dad in a weird way to all of the damned souls, which maybe is like the whole poetic coming full circle kind of thing. Although I do think it would have been equally as cool for it to have ended uh, where like they changed the last two seasons for Lucifer to be like, I don't want to be God. Get away from me. I don't like that's so much work. It's insane. Also, most people like you're we're all flawed and fucked up. So no. Uh, and then only for that to be the like the thing where it's like, yeah, now you are the most worthy to be that because you understand the flaws of people uh, and you've also grown to love people beyond their flaws. Um, and then therefore you get the keys to the castle. You're the only person who who was actually ever worthy uh, because of the trial that you went through about going you know, basically running your own little weird uh, part of the world. Anyways, uh, and then also growing from it. Uh, and then also finding the love and humanity when you've seen the worst sides of them. Uh, that, to me, would be like a, a very poetic thing as well. But it never went that way. Instead, it went through some sort of weird... It does. It is like a little bit traumatic, though. Like, I understand people coming from that perspective as well. Or they're like, but he still... He, he, what? <laughs> like, why does the girl, the daughter, just decide on a whim? You know what? I don't need support, love, or care. Well, maybe she got that from Chloe. I don't need dad. Whatever. I was ready to murder somebody because I didn't have this. But you know what? This one instance, I mean, he does die in like a suit or he does like give everything. So she clearly knows like, oh, no, no, no. This person loves me to bits. Uh, but then it's just all on you then. <laughs> like he's like, it's not your fault that I leave. It is. <laughs> it is your fault. Actually, uh, he's like, I would never do that. And she's like. And like, and I would never want you to blame yourself for this happening. Meanwhile, she is literally <laughs> the sole arbiter of why it has happened. It is entirely your fault that you suffered. It is entirely in your fault that your wife, uh, that your mother suffered. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's entirely your fault that every other person, maze, fucking everybody suffered. Like what? <laughs> I'm sorry, no, dude. This doesn't make sense. But at the same time, it all worked out. Uh, although I don't know how that's going to work because it does seem like, like, will she be able to finally go down and, like, see everything? That's also another thing. Is it, like, in hell? Like, like when Lucifer is gone for, like, a couple years or something, uh, Chloe was like, oh, my God, it's heartbreaking. But meanwhile, Lucifer spent, like, 500 years away from her because time, were, like, moves slower in hell or something. So just the amount of, like... In, and maybe that's more poetic about it, is just that, like, 80 years would have been thousands and thousands of years where he didn't see the woman he loved. And then he sees her again, and boom, he's right back there. Hello, detective. And absolutely, uh, like, going. Again, to me, it seems like fucking uh, Chloe pulled the, a really good straw, <laughs> okay? She got to live a full life. She got to, uh, she got to have her kids. She got to have her ideal job. Uh, she got to, she had to spend in retrospect 80 years or like, what is it? Not even that. She's probably like 30, maybe, uh, 60 years or something. It's probably too generous. 40 years. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and, and then she ends up passing away and dies and Lucifer has to spend like a thousand years away by himself with nobody <laughs> literally nobody <laughs> so like what <laughs> i just feel like man god lucifer is a goddamn king out here all right jesus christ my mother mary okay enough enough memeing and all that stuff i do i very much uh, as much as i do think that some some parts are funny the show is, especially the last two episodes, man, are just beautiful. Like, I really liked, although, again, there was that one thing. Uh, I loved when, like, Lucifer saying goodbye to everyone. He's finally, like, saying, like, like you you all matter to me more than you could ever know. And that, that was, it's beautiful. Uh, but there were, there was one small loose end that I thought was a little annoying. Um, and that's Maze. Uh, so, like, throughout the entire series, uh, you're waiting for, like, there to be a, a Maze and a Lucifer moment where, like, Maze and Lucifer finally like like Lucifer tells Maze that she like she's his best friend or she's so important to him or that she he's she's uh like yeah just think, like the most important person she's always been there for him even when he was at his absolute worst and vice versa um and there to be this kind of like kind of I don't know healing or some weird shit um but it never really happens but it kind of does in the last uh, episode of you know Goodbye Lucifer is what it's called it's kind of there, but it, to me, it all like, it, and I think that's why is because it kind of comes out of nowhere, and it's, and even to her, it seems like she she's kind of like, 
what? But also prior to that, she you know he, he sticks his neck out for her. She he heals the 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 kind of shattered outcome of her and what she did to uh, Eve and all that stuff. But I don't know. To me, I wish they would have like done that instead of like the last two episodes of just filler stuff, uh, or maybe even some point in seasons five, uh, they would have talked about the fact that hey. Now, this person's incredible and has done a lot for you. And, and the fact that she's struggling with this thing with her mom uh, is something where you should be there. You should have been there from the cuff because uh, it's clearly she's in pain and all of these things. But alas, uh, we, I don't know. It's still it's still nice to see like how and maybe that's the thing is that like Maze and Lucifer are always like demons that were more like, again, like the bestest friends within a certain context. And they were also they also known each other forever. So maybe they both have like weird barriers that they put themselves in that couldn't just be overwritten. Like the fact that Maze more or less always helps Lucifer and Lucifer always asks too much of Maze. Um, so maybe there's that weirdness there that's hard to shift and that only Lucifer, when he's basically about to go away forever, finally makes that shift, you know? But yeah, I don't know. I to me, again, I love the, the second episode where he kind of goes up to everyone, even Amenadiel. He's like, hey... Like, uh, uh, you're, I, I'm, I'll miss you. I'm out of all the brothers I've ever had. I'm happy that I got stuck here on, on earth with you. Um, and it's a beautiful moment, of course, but of course, man, was like, yeah, well, I'll be away for a couple of weeks. You dummy. Like, of course, uh, which is like, this guy is God, <laughs> this guy is God. And he really can't pick up this signal. What the fuck <laughs> is this? Also, Mandel's kid gets his wings, which is cute and adorable. I suppose Trixie like dies of old age too. Rough. <laughs> Simply put, rough. I don't know, but also it does seem like everyone inherits everything. Like Lucifer, like at the end, because Lucifer's not sure if this can happen, he gives everything to everybody. So she, like her car is his car and all of these cute things. So it's, it is like, and, and to me, I, especially with the weird context of everything, where like if you were to think about the fact that Chloe and Lucifer both had the understanding of we could never tell her that she is responsible for why she is feeling suffering. Uh, or neglect or or not worthiness because it all is gonna it's all gonna play out and make sense so we can't tell her that but I, what i can do as a detective or as you know chloe decker i could always tell her that you're wonderful and that she he, he was the best or you're the best um so that so that when she does feel neglected it's not that bad or just constantly talk about how amazing you are um and also, like, you're fucking destined to love each other to pieces, so anyways. But also, I, I could see them being like, hey, here's your dad's favorite car. And then her driving it around and all of these things. Uh, and to me, like, that kind of makes sense. Because it did seem like from the whole time, it, like, as much as she's angry at her dad, it didn't seem like, it seemed like, like everyone else around her loved her father to bits. You know what I mean? So it wasn't like your dad was a deadbeat asshole who loved you for spit on him <laughs> disgusting it was more like no, no no your fucking dad was the best he was my best friend he was great he was funny he was crazy he was important he was uh he was the life of the party he was all of these things. you get this from him you get that from him all these things uh but then it's the fact that she, you know it's the fact that she feels like he's not there he was never there builds up in a course that is kind of dismantled when she finally hangs out with him spends days with him and thinks no no no. this is like of course you wouldn't you would never want to leave me i i totally believe this at, at around like the seventh episode part uh, but then ultimately for her to come to the conclusion of oh wait, wait in order for this to all to make sense one you have to leave and two if if i never can if i get disappeared you'll never know about me you'll never change the time loop will break um and you'll never find this out and who knows what will happen either so so maybe it's best that I, I go through this suffering, you know, and, and I, I kind of can go forward and also you get to keep y your like purpose, uh, which again, I think is, is, that's another thing. Like Lucifer's purpose is to, of course, he loves humanity more than anyone. It seems like, and, uh, and he's the person that's going to believe in the damn souls of everybody. It does seem like he spent a thousand years down there or something crazy with the way that hell works and all these things to where like he, what is it? Like, he, oh fuck! I don't know. Um, he meets like the the person that he just be, killed the shit out of. He just got to his thing. Was he? Hopefully, he was making good time on like popping these people up to heaven. Cause Christ. Um, also, it is hilarious that like there's this subliminal thing throughout the entire course of the series where Lucifer kind of is his own therapist, where like Linda kind of helps him aim, but that he fires, and oftentimes he fires at the wrong thing, but ultimately finds him his way there. So. 
It makes sense that Lucifer's job is to do what he did for himself, kind of nudged by Linda, the uh, um, the therapist, to where he is basically just therapying the shit out of uh, the entire uh, underworld, which is hilarious. Um, but I don't know. I, to me, I, the one thing I did wish, but although I did like the way that it ended, where where it was like poetic, where she finally comes to the afterlife, she finally gets to be with her person. It's lovely, jubbly. They can touch. I was worried it was gonna be some weird shit. They kiss. They can touch. Good. That part was so sweet. I'm kind of just there. I full send it. You know what I mean? Uh, even though as much as I'm like, well, um, no, it's a, it's it's a good ending. It's a good ending. It would have been. Would it have been good too if they would have done like the thing that everyone was suspecting? Maybe not. Maybe so. To see everyone in kind of their happily ever after state. Uh, yeah. I do think, like, given more thought, I do think it is weird that, like, the way that Lucifer became God, although he did show mercy and although he did, like, prove himself to some extent, uh, it would it didn't still, like, again, the fact that he wanted to become God, I think, was the problem for me that I just never, like, was like, eh, it seems like it's corruptive. Like, it's not pure. Um... Which it kind of is, because, you know, he he only did it because he wanted to basically save his, his, the woman he loved, which is, like, the ultimate show, showcase of love. Anyways, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Man Deal, I guess, throughout the series has shown himself to, like, really enjoy love. Also, there was a nice thing where, like, they kind of intertwined the, like, you know, how, how fucked up the system can be and how, how all that can make sense. And how uh, everyone, like, Chloe Decker becomes, like, the lead detective and, like, kind of changes it from the inside out, uh, which was lovely. Oh, man. The whole Dan thing. I feel a little space... Like, okay, so Dan and the forensic detective. Dan thing kind of made sense, although Dan did kind of seem like an asshole sometimes. You know what I mean? Where I was just like, what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Why are you shitting on this person that it literally just wants to help you and all of these things? Also, I, I, I you, know how, you know how when there's like a question in a show, like, who killed the guy? And you're like, you're trying to rationalize, oh, and this. But then there's like the actual guy, there was like no clue <laughs> that like hinted at his actual trauma. And I'm sitting there like in the moment that Dan died, he's like, you you live it over and over again. It's supposed to hint at your trauma. What? <laughs> Him saying, wanting to say goodbye to, did, did I admit that he said, he might have said that. I, I'm, I'm completely oblivious. But that's like a really niche thing. Anyways. But yeah, I do think it, that, like, again, as much as the, like, this is one of those moments in, like, shows where I feel like the writing idea, like, the overarching premise of, like, okay, how do we make people feel like everyone's taken care of in the future? We'll introduce a character going back in time and telling everyone that they're, that they're like, their favorite person, their auntie, auntie Eve, and all of these things. Um, so that's lovely and fun. Uh, but then it's, like, the execution of, like, the second layer deep of writing like where how Dan finds out how his his trauma is it sometimes did feel like filling up time you know what I mean where like Dan's like ah what what's the problem ah I, I helping this person out now I'm up here oh god here we go <laughs> it's just some weird shit um also the forensic detective felt similar felt similar where like oh here we go okay we're doing this now I guess shit <laughs> sure ah. also she seems like a weird conspiracy theorist like how she even got close is like weird conspiracy theorist shit anyway oh also I didn't mention this the whole time uh there may not be any like gate like footage uh of this show there because fucking netflix man got a hate boner for any sort of re reaction anything <laughs> on youtube and they just fucking strike it down immediately no good anyway despite it's a trailer that he, they uploaded to youtube anyways <laughs> so it's meant for people to see anyway, anyways so so like the, the the middle layer of like the execution of everything uh, in terms of the plot eh, that was where things got a little like a little bit dicey to me i think the overarching plot kind of is cool like makes sense and also is a cool way to kind of do the everyone is okay in the future kind of thing. The second layer seems like some of the like planning for the in between got a little fillery, but the the uh, the moment to moment a acting and all of these things were beautiful. Like the moment between Lucifer and Maze felt like there's a lot of subliminal emotions and pain and uh, and like loss. Uh, the moment for Dan uh, and everybody. The moment like again, whoever played Lucifer's uh, daughter in this show did an amazing job. Uh, like the fact that like you're like oh like again everyone this this season I should have mentioned this is some of the best misdirect I've ever gotten and maybe it's because so much of this show has not been a misdirect it's been like oh blah, 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 yep <laughs> okay bop and bop and boom <laughs> okay <laughs> completely predicted it it's totally there it is <laughs> done uh, whereas like you're like oh shit this person Lucifer's daughter is gonna go for Chloe <laughs> all that stuff and then she turns around and you're like oh she's about to get taken or captured or some shit and they're like no 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 that's her mom and I'm like 
oh <laughs> and she just and you immediately get that sense of like she like super fucking loves seeing her again she's like you're so young and all all these things ah. um and yeah there's just that nice kind of thing there and there's all of these subliminal kind of feelings and all of those things which is awesome and the, and the same thing with dan and his daughter at the end man whew, that that was like hard, I, that was one of the moments that got me going <laughs> if i inhale keep it together <laughs> don't lose don't fall apart also the maze one got me chloe getting like stabbed in the heart though again i feel like the whole show was like here we go like i will say the show did seem like it was made for misdirect where like the moment you see th th uh, chloe decker get like stabbed in the right by the heart <laughs> you're like oh fuck it she's gonna die he's gonna like give his life body to her he's gonna become astral and he can't he just like dan people can't see this level of whatever and he's gonna become god and take care of his family and maybe at the last scene he's gonna see fucking lucifer's like like disembodied glimmering shadow is holding like chloe's hand as she dies some weird crazy shit where it's like he's he was always there but it's still tragic <laughs> Uh, but no, it was like, no, 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 like, none of that. But we, it did seem like they were putting stuff in there constantly to misdirect you. Where like, oh, no, oh, I, oh, bop, bop, no, no, pop, pop, pop. But in bop, dot, bop, okay. Weird. <laughs> okay. I, okay. Here we go. I'm not even gonna try anymore. <laughs> I'm just, okay. Here we go. Okay, and it's I'm crying because <laughs> they just had the other ladies and gentlemen as we progress I get more and more illiterate and uh, just not very good at speaking so uh, Yeah, very much enjoyed this series I've watched every single episode of it and I remember when I first watched season two or season one I was like, oh my god, this show is the best I hope so badly that they, they make more of it because the formula of it was fantastic of like this this uh, the devil basically with his various like slight powers but mostly he's just there to shoot shit shoot the shit uh make jokes and kind of be invulnerable and convenient at times um, whilst this other person is kind of solving detective work and also you're like getting subliminal information about the devil himself and how he kind of sees the world and his his problems and his not problems and all of these things um, his insecurities and non insecurities it was just one of those shows where i always felt I would be so happy getting more of this. And we got six seasons more. Again, my only criticism is uh, that, like, I, I love the fact that we got more. I just didn't like the fact that it seemed like the price of more was Lucifer forgetting all of his previous, uh, like, knowledge or understanding of how things panned out. And it did seem like a little bit of that happened in uh, the last season where, again, conveniently, a lot of the lessons completely not learned again. <laughs> and you're like, oh, well, <laughs> geez, <laughs> I thought season two really hammered that one home. I guess not. Fuck me dead. <laughs> Here we go. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, a, a fantastic series. Totally worth watching, um, especially now that it has like a conclusion that makes a lot of it worthwhile. Um, at least to me. Again, would it have been nice for everybody to have a perfectly happily ever after and for his daughter to have a dad in her life constantly? Uh, yeah, but also I understand that like the whole series to some extent is about sacrifice and giving a great deal Maybe even more than you should um, And not expecting anything else in return and kind of just that being kind of one of the most beautiful things in, in general as much as I understand that I, I, I yeah, I, I, I think the series is totally worth watching if you're thinking about it and wanting to watch a show It's a long ass series each episode is like an hour. That's one of the crazy things. It's like 24 episodes each season and they're an hour piece Except for the last uh, two, I think, seasons, maybe. One of the seasons are like 10 and 10, basically. But needless to say, they're very long. Uh, I think they're very good. Albeit, there is that thing where I have had... I feel like this show would burn very poorly if you binged it. Because it does do the thing where, like, see, new season? Oh, what? <laughs> Why has he forgotten everything? And that could be a little bit of taking the wind out of your sail. So maybe in between each season, take a little bit of a break. And then come back to it, chip away a season over the course of a couple months, and I think you'll fall in love uh, with it a great deal. Just because the guy who plays uh, Lucifer and Chloe Decker are both just in incredible. In fact, the cast in this show, 9 out of 10, like just fucking perfect. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, also, let me know what you guys think about the series. Uh, now that it's come to a close, I'm genuinely interested about how you guys felt about it. Um, again, yeah, as much as that, and like, the first couple, like, majority of the, the series, season, I was like, all right. But then the last two episodes, I was like, okay. This was just, the question is, do we need all the previous things? And could we have just had <laughs> the last two? But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, ah, <laughs> ah. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. And goodbye.